بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Fellow Toastmasters, respected guests, honorable judges, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Peace be upon you all. Thank you all for joining us here today at our last Toastmasters meeting. Today, I would like to talk to you about my journey from my homeland, Saudi Arabia, to the United States of America. First, I would like to begin by saying that, I would, that my father is half Saudi, half American, and my mother is fully American. I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia, and just came to the United States about eight months ago. Um, back in Saudi Arabia, I went to a segregated school, and my nine years of schooling was in Arabic. Now, as you can imagine, being a white and blue-eyed girl, I didn't fit in well over there. I never felt like I belonged. I got picked on a lot. But then, coming to Portland and seeing how diverse it is, and how it doesn't matter what color you are, where you came from, what you look like. You're treated the same, with a nice, welcoming, and warm smile and attitude. When we first decided to move here, I was scared because I didn't know what to expect. I've never been to Portland before, although I have lived in the United States um, for a couple of years when I was young, but I don't remember much. And I was also sad because I was leaving all my friends and family and loved ones behind and was coming to a place where I knew no one and nothing about, except that it was a very beautiful state. Um, it had a nice and some community, the people were nice, and it had a wonderful son of school. But then when I got here, and I saw how nobody stared at me like I was different, because I wasn't very different from everybody else here. But what I was most fascinated about was how everybody here is so friendly. You walk by somebody and they smile at you. You leave a store and they say, have a good day. Now, that might be normal to you that people say that, but Back in Saudi Arabia, nobody said that kind of stuff, so that's new to me, and that's why I like it. And, for example, one day during the summer, I was feeling very down, so I decided to take a walk. And on the way back home, I just stopped at the grocery store in us and picked up some chocolate, because, let me tell you, nothing kills loneliness better than chocolate. <laughs> Anyway, so I got in line, and the lady in front of me had a cart full of groceries. And when she saw me and saw that I only had a couple things, she said that I could go in front of her. And I was like, oh, thank you, and I did. But when I got to the cashier, it turned out that if I had the rewards card, I could have saved some money. So the lady behind me, after being kind enough to let me go in front of her, gave the cashier her rewards card for me to use, so I can save the extra dollar or two. And that, like, touched me because a stranger just went out of her way to help me. Um, and more than once has that happened to me. And then when I came to NET, I was overwhelmed because all the teachers and students welcomed me with open arms. And I couldn't have been happier with the education that I received here and the teachers who have made the classes we take so fun and alive and full of energy, and the students who have welcomed me and, since day one, treated me as if I were, were one of them. The, and the thing I love most about the school is that they treat each other like family. It's like one big family. Um, and since we've got here and I don't have any family here, I miss that sense of family. So that's one of the many reasons why I love the school very much and would do anything for it. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the founder and principal of MET, Amu Wajdi Sayyid, 
for putting in his time and effort to make the school what it is today. And I would like to thank all the teachers at MET for putting in their time and energy to make sure we have what we need to succeed in life. And I would also like to thank my fellow students for making this school such a blast. And last but not least, I would like to thank Coach Tahseen for giving me the tools and guidelines to express my feelings and practice public speaking in a fun and safe environment. Thank you.